planet Earth, a planet with a population of close to 7 billion. Every day, around 200,000 people are being added to this number, which results in a yearly growth of over 80 million. All these people, of course, have to eat, and preferably eat healthy. Enter seafood. For millions of years, man has hunted fish and shellfish for a source of essential nutrients. It is only in recent decades that man has switched from fishing to farming, the controlled production of fish, shellfish, and seaweed. The oceans cover almost 70% of the Earth's surface and offer a wide variety of feed sources for the Earth's population. But these sources are not inexhaustible. Close to 70% of our oceans are being overfished, which means that by 2050, most wild fish as we know them will likely become extinct. A more durable, controlled way of fish farming is therefore on the rise, aquaculture. Back in the early 1980s in Belgium, a country without any previous history in aquaculture, a handful of scientists would lay the foundation of a company that today has become a market leader and pioneer in providing nutritional and health solutions for the aquaculture industry, Enve Aquaculture. It was back in 1983, now almost 30 years ago, that Envy Aquaculture was established as a spin-off company from the University of Ghent. It was actually created for valorizing a number of findings of the Artemia Reference Center, findings that had a potential value for the aquaculture industry that was emerging at that time. They're one of the premier pioneering technical groups in the aquaculture industry. Their reputation is known worldwide, and some of the most premier names in the scientific field are associated with Inve. Contrary to uh, what we uh, see in terrestrial animal farming, chicken and pigs, the uh, start feeding of the larvae of aquatic organisms is much more complicated. The main reason for this is that aquaculture deals with very small animals that require live food, plankton. Finding a substitute for plankton was crucial for the industrialization of aquaculture. And this is where the brine shrimp comes in. The brine shrimp, or artemia, is a unique organism producing eggs which can be dried, stored, and out of which a plankton substitute can be produced to feed a lot of aquaculture organisms, like fish and shellfish. As the aquaculture production industrialized, new needs emerged in the market, and our people that we had in the market could capture these needs and eventually transforming that in ideas for new product development. Today, Inve Aquaculture is a world player in the aquaculture business of nutritional and health specialties. Its very targeted product portfolio contains a number of innovative Artemia products for hatcheries, a diversified line of enrichments diets for live food, and a unique range of compound feeds based on the microencapsulation technology. Besides that, Enve Aquaculture developed a complete range of health products for hatcheries, as well as for farms. To ensure the safety, quality, and improvement of its products, Enve Aquaculture guarantees a severe quality control and assurance program during every single step of the production process. Enve Aquaculture's physical presence in the market has always been vital and is still growing today. In Europe, Central and South America, goods are delivered directly to the customers thanks to over 80 people acting locally from the Enve service centers. In South and Far East Asia, Oceania up to Japan and Korea, a network of qualified distributors deliver the products straight to the farmers. In China, Enve Aquaculture has recently come to a strategic collaboration with probably the largest integrator in its market, Evergreen. One of the strengths of Envy has been that its representatives visit the farms. Uh, one also has to remember that the marine fish hatcheries are generally uh, situated in quite distant places. So actually the Envy technical staff are very responsible for ensuring that the knowledge that has been generated through research or through the, uh, the development work that they've achieved 
of making sure that that actually gets transferred and interpreted into the products or the processes that are in place in the hatcheries themselves. Inve Aquaculture has a dedicated team of researchers and all of its products are monitored and tested before being launched into the market. For this purpose, Inve Aquaculture has its own fish hatchery in Italy, as well as a shrimp hatchery based in Thailand. These testing centers are nearly identical copies of actual hatcheries, meaning the products are constantly tested and adapted under market conditions. A product's portfolio is a dynamic thing, and it has to be coordinated and changed along with the changing market needs of the industry. researchers are working together with our product managers in translating market needs into concepts. I think a very good example is the SEPART technology. Everybody knows that Envy is the leader in Artemia. Nevertheless, we brought a completely new type of Artemia towards the market. This innovative and patented Artemia technology renders the decapsulation process or double sieve technique obsolete and is the first concept that yields pure Nopoli without the use of complex manipulations or chemicals. The use of Separt Artemia does not require any structural changes to the harvesting protocols. Using the Separt cysts and the specially designed equipment, the separator or the system unit for high volumes, simplifies the whole harvesting process of Artemia Nopoli. Inve Aquaculture strictly bans the use of antibiotics. Therefore, an innovative probiotic product range was designed specifically for the different stages in the aquaculture production line, both for hatcheries and farms. Besides that, Inve Aquaculture continuously upgrades its larval diets, like the Fripac flagship diets for shrimp, and the Orange Range, a new type of a more performing diet for fish. With the growing population, we should realize that uh, stagnating fisheries, increasing demand for seafood, that the pressure on aquaculture is in fact further increasing. We have to produce much more seafood than we do today through controlled farming aquaculture. So there are very, very significant, not only economic effects, um, appreciation by the consumer, overall image of the sector that are entirely down to uh, companies like Envy working on improving their own technology, improving nu nutritional profiles and therefore having a knock-on effect through the sector. Thanks to work by groups like Envy, we will eventually end up with totally artificial diets. This will eventually be an industry driven by automatic feeders and automated processes tremendous biosecurity and, and health controls and uh, that can only happen through technological development and groups like Inve are driving that process. With an ever-growing world population and a continuously increasing demand for healthy food, Inve Aquaculture will continue innovating the aquaculture industry with their ultimate goal enabling a sustainable production of seafood while trying to make sure the natural ecosystem remains intact. <laughs>